the dumb, deaf, and blind are the majority, God. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? EJ the best. <laughs> hey, man. Like, I'm saying, I'm saying this. He the most proven. He the most proven. That's what I'm going to say. He's the most proven fighting. I know, man. I was moving around, man. And you start. You need to stop late minute in the motherfucker, bro. Let somebody know you was going. I didn't even know you was going till you hit me up. <laughs> you know, Cal, he be like, I'm going to the fight. Then he'll change his mind and go to another fight and shit. Got that big money. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Kui Kui was horse as hell. She sounded so funny, bro. Her and Ashley funny as fuck. Her mama is a goddamn mess. And she's a pretty man. Man, I'm telling Hey, Kui Kui mama, yeah. <laughs> and that's no disrespect, yo. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck. <laughs> Quee Quee Moms, yeah. <laughs> that's facts from the factory, bro. <laughs> I ain't I ain't in the world, Kyle. I ain't in the world. Me and you supposed to be better than that. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> so let's talk about it man first round <clears throat> excuse me both fighters was tentative man you know fill out round nothing special nothing fancy man um second round i gotta give uh ugas credit man arrow was overextending himself a lot and i i put some respect on horn's name shut up he's like <laughs> you gotta give credit where credit is due you got to give credit where credit is due. Um, when that fight was on the outside and Arrow was trying to lunge in, uh, that boy, uh, damn, he had forethought in my mind. That boy, you guys was, he was landing, right? He was landing. What's up, Casey boy? My favorite white boy. How you doing, guy? Right? I mean, you can get a first round of Ugas. You could have gave, they, they both didn't really do nothing, but I gave it to Ugas. You know what I'm saying? I gave it to Ugas, right? Uh, second round, I gave to Ugas. Second round, I gave to Ugas. But round three and up was all arrow. Everything's everything, my brother. How the wife doing? All right? Round three on up was Errol Spence, man. Now, for me to say he didn't have some rust, it did look like he was rusty. His timing was a little bit off. Was a little bit off, right? Um, and unfortunately for you guys, the thing when he capitalized on Arrow Spence dropping his mouth guard in the six is really what woke Arrow up. Yeah, opulent. Even after, like he he was winning that round. You know what I'm saying? Ugas hit hit him with the uh, with the combination and the uppercut. But that's pretty much all the work that uh, Ugas did that round. And you know the sucker punches. And I can't really say it's a sucker punch. You know what I'm saying? I can't really say it's a sucker punch because, you know, he, he, he EJ told y'all I got to defend myself at all times, right? But that, you know, we can blame it on the ref, right? We can blame it on the ref, but it, it essentially comes down to EJ, right? He, he gotta, you got to stay ready. But as they, it had been said earlier, like when the ref wouldn't let him get his mouthpiece, bro, you see Errol Spence, he was like, without a mouthpiece, start stepping to uh, – he starts. He start uh, stepping to Ugas. He starts stepping to Ugas without a mouthpiece, right? He ended that round really well. But then after that, bro, that that sixth round, the, the end of sixth round, bro, that's when uh, my my guy, the Jet G five. I looked or we was looking around. He looked at me. He pointed at his eye. Said it's over. Brooklyn Hayes, what's good? He said Crawford's chinny arrow will stop him. Hey man, I've been saying it for years, bro. G five, he pointed at me. We was we. I looked at him. He pointed at his eye, and G five said, "It's over." This was in round six. This was at the end of the round six. He said, "It's over." <laughs> and show and right as rain, bro, bro. As show as Texas is big, man. EJ came out and started dotting that eye, bro. Started dotting that eye. What up, Mark Nash? What's up with you got? Right? Started dotting that eye. 
Dark Knight Eye. Round seven, he started stepping to him. The body shots was body shots was relentless. I heard some people complaining that some of them was low. Well, if the ref don't call them, it's what it is. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. It's what it is. It's a fight. Right? It's just funny how, you know, y'all cry about low blows. Oh, Errol Spence was hitting them low, but don't cry about the mouth, the mouthpiece situation. Stop being hypocrites. Teach says Spence was beating Ugas in the six. Couldn't get that round of Ugas, even if Ugas got those shots. And that's what I was saying. Like, to be honest with y'all, in them slow rounds, like, you can give them to the Ugas, but to be honest with you, if we going off classic, if we going off classic fights, bro, EJ way too active, bro, in rounds. You got, like, he's so active, bro, whether he's getting clean shots or not, bro, he's active. He's coming forward. To the judges, He's it looks like he's winning the fight. He's being aggressive. Because that's what y'all use on every other fight, right? Right? When we say that guy's a sick boxer, he's not coming for it because he's a counterpuncher or he's looking to catch him with something, right? Then y'all say, oh, it's the guy that's coming for it that's making the fight. But I guess because it's EJ, right? Oh, that was different. Made sense. With that super chat, I appreciate you, my guy. Payday, payday. You want payday? I know that. <laughs> he said the thing that was amazing besides his motor was his body position and how he was getting inside and nullifying anything uh, meaningful Ugas was trying to throw. Then followed up Bomber downstairs. Yeah, man. Uh, once he saw that, eye, once he saw that, I started closing, bro. He started ro- uh, rotating to his left and that right. Yeah, man. Them uppercuts and like I, 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 pe- I think people don't understand too is that. Ugas, cause he hold his gloves so close, bro. Like even when EJ was hitting his hand, hitting his gloves, he's still hitting them. You see what I'm saying? Like even though even though he hit, even though he catch him with his gloves, bro, because his guard so tight up top, he just hitting him through his own gloves. His 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 hands is hitting him through his own gloves. Right. Round seven. Round eight, <laughs> round nine, round 10. Now, for me to say Ugas didn't have a couple of moments, that's a lie. He had a couple of moments, but that's all they were, were moments. The effect of punching, aggression, the cleaner shots were all coming from Errol Spence. It was one-way traffic. Now, the, the story I'm hearing lately, bear with me, guys, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just had to close the door. Uh, A1 Hoop Zone. Thanks, bro. Thanks for all that 20 dub, man. I appreciate you, man. Payday, payday. You want payday? I know that. He said, peace, salute OG kings and queens in the chat. OG out here fishing with dynamite. Gotta drop a 20 piece. I appreciate you, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my nephew, man. A1 Hoop Zone, man. We talking them hoops. Y'all know the playoffs just getting started. Shout out to that boy Jordan Poole, man, over there. Them Warriors, boy Jordan Poole, going to be something special, my guy. <laughs> right? But back to the fight game, man. Uh, I think he did exactly what uh, I expected him to do. Uh, I sent a prediction over to Boxing Ego. And like I said, man, I I, I saw this performance was going to be dominant, something like the... Uh, Lamont Peterson fight. 
right? What y'all think of that? Y'all think that was like a Lamont Peterson-esque performance from Arrow Spence? What do you guys think? I need to stop closing my tabs, y'all. I'm sure my guy won't mind. I don't know I used it. He gonna be working. Mm. What's up, Ego? It's your boy Rick coming at you with Ugas versus uh, Spin this Saturday. I'm going with Errol Spin in the Dallas performance. Something like a Lamont Peterson fight. This, this weekend in Dallas, I'll be there. Ego pick. All right. So that was my. Right, so that was my pick right there. What do you guys think? Do you think that was a Lamont Peterson type performance? Do you guys think that? Participate, chat. Participate. Participation to get you everywhere. <laughs> he said, ooh, guys look Chinese, man. He said, I think Lamont was getting more work in than Ugi. <laughs> yeah, man. He had more respect for Lamont, so he didn't go all the way in like he did, ooh, guys. But he said, yes. Oakland said, yep. Opulent said, yep. SWAT Tech said, fire. Yep. Divine says, boxing. Hey, you get no argument from me. They just got to stay focused, healthy, and hungry, and also know to make damn adjustments. Yeah, man. All right, y'all must be talking about hoops. Uh, this one was more memory, memorable, and EJ showed, more, showed uh, the dog more. Um, yeah, I think so. And again, it was the atmosphere, him being in Dallas, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his people came out for him. So, But yeah, man. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, man. He's back. He got hit in the eye. He's okay. Again, they were, his corner was playing to, to hit, to, to target Arrow's eye. Looks like uh, the universe had, does have karma. Battle ready. He looks good, bro. He said, for real, though, anybody that stands in front of EJ is going to wind up man down and look like Ugas. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Like, he, he he's hurting people in there. Broken bones. Broken bones. All right? So, I mean... His performance, man, I, I mean, I'm a little bit biased. So I'm going to say I'm a lot of bias, right? For me being in a town, having such a great weekend, man, I thought it was a brilliant performance. I thought Showtime did a bang-up job except for the Ugas Cruz fight. Um, it was great that they got the, the card moving along. It wasn't a bunch of long uh, intermissions in between the fights. It was good. I don't say it, bud, next, we hope. I understand. I, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He said, D-Hop, what's good? He said, EJ Bodywork either turns you into a track star or he stops you. A. Jones, Pac-Man Lucky. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. See, but I... See, y'all got me doing screen caps again. Hold on. Because <laughs> it seems like, you know what I'm saying? I tell y'all something and it becomes true and nobody remembers it, you know? Um... But it looks like people love to have, you know, the proof, I guess. <laughs> well, we had a great weekend, man. It was a great meeting people face to face. 
definitely going back regardless whether it's a fight there or not. Because now I know where they're at, so. Get back to Texas, you definitely stop and see the family. And I mean it when I told y'all, all y'all got to do is, y'all want to get out for the weekend or whatever, all you, all you got to do is get here. All you got to do. Right here. Look at this. Jesus saved, bro. You see how Manny Pacquiao? We got Buddy Christ. This entire stream. Let's go to the date. I can play this because it's mine. <laughs> Look. Pacquiao fans should be thanking the boxing gods. Should be thanking the boxing gods, man. If y'all y'all seen how he looked with Ugas, imagine how he looked with Arrow. Imagine how he would have looked with Arrow. Now, please remember, a lot of people, right? A lot of people were saying that Ugas had a real good shot of beating Arrow Spence, bro. A lot of people. People were saying Ugas versus Arrow is a 50-50 fight. That's with him being the same. That's with him being right. Brooklyn Hayes said, how in the world can people say Crawford is pound for pound when Arrow is the one taking all the trash out in the division? Just crazy. Arrow is doing all the dirty work in the division. He has got he had great marketing. ESPN did their job. Hands on what's good, bro. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear what I said? Just the fact that we have these type of conversations, bro, let y'all know. That ESPN did their job with Bud. All this stuff with Bud talking about he didn't get promoted, Bob didn't do his job, all this other shit. Brooklyn Hayes, what's good, bro? Appreciate you for the $5 super chat, man. Payday, payday, you want payday. I know that. Right? They did their job with Bud, bro. Let's just keep it honest. They success, successfully attached Bud Crawford to, to Errol Spence Jr. With one belt, the WBO belt. Just because it's irrelevant, drink, don't mean we can't talk about it. <laughs> Just because it's irrelevant at this point don't mean we can't talk about it. It's the story, my friend. May since 84 said, I did think it was funny how the Showtime backstory kept talking about Ugas' kid and flying around, taking days off. That's when I knew he was in trouble. He was in trouble the day he signed the fight. Just being honest, I told y'all he was going to, I told y'all he was going to dominate Ugas. Ugas, Ugas wasn't a thought of memory until he beat Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Come on, man. Right, but it's irrelevant. My boy A1 coming through heavy. Quick 10 P's just here. He want to hear that Canelo. Payday, payday. <laughs> you want payday. I, I know that. that. <laughs> right? Right? That's, that, we talking about the story. They attached this man to the, uh, the unified. Three belt holder. Welterweight winner. Hey, you can say that, but the thing is that Bud didn't fight him. That's cool, Drink. I'm cool with it. But the truth still is that Bud didn't fight him. 
And the ones he did fight, Sean, was past his due date, and Brooke was past his due date. So whether it's heavy or light lifting, Bud ain't doing it. Did you hear what I said? Whether it was heavy or light lifting, Bud didn't do it. These are all facts. The point is, let's get to it. Right? Again, it's no disrespect to Bud. He a good little fighter, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. He a good little fighter, bro. But it's been time. Right? But anyway, and however. <laughs> anyway, hey, make the fight, bro. I hear what Drink's saying. I hear what Drink's saying. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Drink more water. Y'all, people complain about Arrow, too. I ain't going to say you, but, you know, them other fans complain. It's, it's what it is. Right? I want to fight. I want to see the fight now. I want to see the fight now. Ain't nothing else to talk about, bro. Ain't nothing else to talk about. I hear you, A. I hear you. I hear you, Drink. And no disrespect to nobody, bro. I hear you, man. Make the fight. Right? No winning and whining. No talking about all this other shit. These Twitter finger shit, bro. Say, say less. <laughs> Bro, say less. Say less. <laughs> MP, what the fuck? What's good, bro? You see what I'm saying, Teach? Say less. This still does. This still doesn't take away from Arrow Spence having a dominant performance. And, and getting getting a stoppage over a man who ain't never got stopped before, right? Because that's what y'all was talking about. He was the first one to knock out Sean Porter, right? Arrow the first one to stop Ugas. A one hoops on tell him, bro. Locked in one K bet earlier today. I'm not betting any random. If I don't see you on a regular, I can't bet you still tracking down money from Buck. Hey, tell him, bro. Tell him, bro. You got no honor, man. No honor. But be they they definitely be putting you on blast, drink. Out in the out in the uh what's the names if you if you didn't pay them. Be calling your name. Drink more water. Nah, nah, nah. That shit irritate me, bro. He said, when they fight each other, that'll be the best fighter on both their resumes. Facts. Facts. That's what I'm saying, Jay Will. Let's make it happen, bro. Right? Let's make it happen. That's all I'm saying, man. Fuck all this pussyfooting around, man. Get, get to it, bro. Get to it. It's time. All right? I don't have to, I don't have to keep telling y'all who I think I'm, I'm going to win. Y'all already know that, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, right? We didn't play around the coochie long enough, right? It's time. It's time. It's time to get to it. Trying to put this work in, right? Oh, I don't know if it was F. It's A one. He good. If it's A one hoop, he good. Drink. That's a fact, bro. He good though. Drink. I vouch for him. Jesse J, what's good, bro? He said Spence by KO or TKO. I mean, I'm not I'm not talking about man. If you want to you want to see, just do what's good, bro. If you want to see what I think about Bud and how the fight go, man, please. You know what I'm saying? I can use more clicks. I, I need y'all help, man. You know what I'm saying? Get the video out for me, please. Like, share the content. If you know somebody who will enjoy this type of stuff, please push them my way, bro. But you know, go back through, man. Y'all see, I got a library of stuff, man. There, labeled very clear. 
of what we talking about, man. Go ahead and click, man, and see what's up. You know, when you driving or you heading to work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's that the one thing I'ma say is that everybody got their favorite. Some people think Bud gonna do this, Bud or Arrow gonna do that, but I'm telling y'all, most people that talk about this fight sees it as competitive. I'm telling y'all, this fight won't be as competitive as y'all think. Brooke Hayes said, what gets me is how people saying for his pay that Crawford Spence should be 50-50 when Spence, hey, th three belts to Crawford, one belt. But the, again, that's what I'm saying. He, Y'all y'all going to see who want to make the fight. If the fight's made already, great, announce it. Yeah, and he good, A1. He good, bro. Drink good. He he's a solid dude, man. Ten toes down. And A1 is too. Right? So, you know, if y'all need me to hold or do whatever, you escrow, let me know. Whatever. Well, however y'all want to handle it. Right? But yeah, man, look. Um, Ugas, I don't think, I mean, who am I? What? I ain't no doctor. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that eye, bruh, get that looked at, my guy. That eye, get that looked at. Because that jump was closed. It was closed. It was closed. And your corner's trash. Your, your corner should be looking out for you. Like, y'all know me. I like a knockout. I like a stoppage as much as the next guy. You know, I want to see a knockout. Hey, leave it. <laughs> leave it all on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Leave it on the floor. Hey, I got knocked out. I don't know what happened. But, bro, your corner, your corner need their ass whooped. You know, they know you couldn't see. Right? Your corner knew you couldn't see out that motherfucking eye, bro. This is what I'm saying, bro. How can you... How can you go into a fight like this with somebody you can't trust? Like, that's, nah, bro, that shit was close. He had a pumpkin head. He got violated. Shout out to my boy, Al B. That boy got violated in there. He was walking around, you know what I'm saying, like he slept with the homies, baby moms or some shit. He, he, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Arrow different, bro. Like, he hit different, bro. I don't know what it is. You're going to have to knock Arrow out. He's too technical for you to beat him for 12 rounds. He's too technically sound. His activity is way too much. His motor is crazy. I seen Arrow take maybe one minute off in that fight. And if I'm being generous, I say one minute and 30 seconds in that fight. You're not going to beat him in 12. I'm telling y'all right now, no fighter's going to beat him in 12. You're not. His activity is too high. He does all the things. The only thing he doesn't, you can say do, do, that he doesn't do 100% to everybody's approval is defense. Ring generalship. Effective aggression. Right? Activity. Jabs, power shots. <laughs> Rob Sportsman. <laughs> yeah, bro, tell him. <laughs> Rob Sportsman Lee, he said, ooh, guys, I was bleeding like a vagina. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, ha Hagler Power with Leonard Placement. Hey, it was a beautiful thing to watch. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. He said, Bud not going to get punched on for eight rounds. Hey, man. Hey, the only way, hey, Bud's timing is impeccable, bro. And he got he got great, good power. Bud's timing is impeccable, and he got good power. What up, Tim? Skywalker, my boy. Stay dangerous, bro. Right? So what we looking at, if we being honest, we looking at the sniper versus the tank. That's what we're looking for. We're looking at a, a, a sniper versus an Abrams. Right? You got one guy that can kill you with a power shot. You got one guy that can hit you with a power shot and end it all for you, right? A sniper. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to throw a lot of punches on you. Big dose. What's good, bro? But then you got a tank, right? Now, the tank to everybody, it looks slow, but it's really fast. Right? And it looked dumb to you, but that team that running that tank is technical as hell. 
and the tank going to keep firing. The tank's going to keep firing. You're not going to, you're not going to make Errol Spence keep his hands in his pocket. That's not happening. That's not happening. You're not going to slow his motor down. The only way you'll be able to get him is to get him out of there. Hamza S said, EJ defense is solid. He doesn't get hit clean that much. And unlike certain fighters, he fights the best. Who said his defense wasn't good? Everybody was saying he was getting touched by Ugas when he was getting touched. I know how his defense works, Hamza. I know he uh, he spins off a lot. He, uh, he parries a lot of shots. He catches a lot of shots. He catches a lot of body shots with his elbows and his forearms. Right, but people see him getting hit with a jab or a one-two, and you know it's everything. Drink more water. Said, "Yep, his hand speed and time are gonna be the downfall of EJ. EJ has one speed, and it ain't all that fast. If it's a slug fest, it's EJ's fights to lose. If it's Bud, if Bud is sharp shooting and timing, EJ is his fight. Well, e well, that that's the point, bro, and." It, what we got to see is simply who can, uh, again, who can do their game plan, right? If Arrow goes in on the inside, it's over early. We know, we know, I'm not going to say, this is what I should say. I'm not going to say that Bud's not able to throw punches on the inside, but he's not, he's not, he's not an inside fighter. He could catch you with some hot shit, though. If you give him space, he can catch you with some hot shit. That's just the facts. Exactly. Exactly, Drink. Let's talk about it. All right? To me, to, for me... Again, if you can if you can negate Bud's timing, if you can negate Bud's timing, and if you can get in close with if you can get in close with uh Bud, yeah. Right? See, but that's what I'm saying, Drink. He said EJ relents in the pocket. That would be a dummy fight, right? So Bud gotta move. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all think Bud can do you think Bud can avoid arrow for 12 rounds? These are the questions you got to ask yourself. We know if we being factual, we being honest about the situation, Errol Spence is one of the best is cutting off the, off the ring in boxing right now, hands down. That's the truth. Are we asking Bud to do something he hasn't done since 140? Now, he still has decent feet, no lie. I seen that. I seen that in the Deshaun uh, Porter fight. But his feet are more just to step back. Right? To step back and get out the way, not to move constantly around the ring like he did post star. You know that one fight post star. Right? Big Doe said, bro, I think y'all gonna be shocked. Bud get hit with a good one, then Bud get got to get his lick back, and that's when he gonna get caught. EJ Chen is way better. Again, we don't know how Bud's gonna react to EJ catching him clean. If, if EJ catches him clean, we don't know how he's going to react. Right? He has to fight in spots, tie up after he get off and resets. He, he can try that with EJ. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he can try that with EJ. But we already seen EJ not going to let you hold him. So that, that means we betting on, we betting on that Bud's going to, it's strong enough to keep EJ locked up on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Who's going I think again, I just think with the fighter, the, the, the two fighters at hand, the two fighters at hand, EJ has more tools to do what he needs to get done or to get it done. The bud I seen against Sean Porter and all in welterweight division, can't none of those can't none of those buds be EJ. Especially this EJ we seen Saturday night. Everybody focuses on the mistakes because the mistakes is all you have. You gotta be you better you better, you gotta be able to capitalize off of them. You feel me? You 
The question with EJ fans is if 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 Crawford cat is if Crawford strength if his power is really what it is right he gonna sting you he gonna hurt you right you can't say lay out you can't say lay out because we ain't seen Crawford lay out nobody he had TKO the shit out of you though right but he got enough power to let your ass know it's up right what everybody's thinking is can EJ take a clean shot this will be a slaughter let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's what it is. Can EJ take that shot? Because if EJ can take that shot, it's a wrap. Y'all know that. Follow my blade. Y'all know that. If we being honest, if we talking about punches, everything, tech, I'm talking about the technical, the technicals, the way to throw a jab, the way to throw a hook. Right? The technicals, EJ's better in every facet, bro. He's better than every facet. Again, y'all, everybody's counting on the, that EJ's just like the rest of these guys that Bud didn't face, or Danny Garcia wasn't legit, or Sean Porter wasn't legit, and all this other stuff, bro. And that's why EJ beat him. That's not the case. That's not the case. <laughs> that's not the case it's not gonna look how y'all think that's all I'm gonna say it's not gonna look how y'all think it's gonna look it's gonna be one of them goddamn moments but anyway <laughs> that's my time Congratulations, man. The big fish. Man down. <laughs> What's good with you, R.S. Cooper? Shout out to Dallas, Texas. You heard me. <laughs> Shout out to Dallas, Texas. You heard me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Dallas is heaven in America, goddammit. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. <laughs> Hey, drink more water. Bud a good little fighter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's all I've been saying. <laughs> hey, bro, y'all, shout out to EJ, man. Great performance, man. Me and the wife had a beautiful time. We definitely, I mean, we get we get to Dallas all the time anyway, but now we got another reason to go. So we definitely going to be back. We had a great time. And again, congratulations I am your worst to the big fish. And this pond getting small in the motherfucker, bro. This pond is a puddle. <laughs> D Free said hi, baby. She said hello. <laughs> Man. And as usual, man, y'all have a great rest of y'all night. I thank all y'all for coming through. I thank y'all for the super chats. I thank y'all for the likes, the shares. Share your boy. You know what I'm saying? Share the man. <laughs> we'll be back. Oh, no, tomorrow I'll be over there at Lapeet Flat Talk. You know, grown folks talk over there with the Kangs. The Kangs, you know what I'm saying? Kangs talk. Make sure y'all check me out. Wednesday, we will be back with uh, Queequee said, hey. He said, <laughs> He said, uh, EJ did his thing. I ordered three of those shark new strap season shirts with the shark. No, EJ. I know, bro. Hey, baby. Drink. Hey, man. I know I ain't got to tell you, bro, but I'll tell you. You know. You know what I'm saying? Real recognize the real, man. That what what uh, already understood. Don't need to be explained, baby. I know. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool, bro. Brett Fox, just coming through, showing support. Great meeting you, the queen. Hey, thanks so much, God. I appreciate you, bro. Let me rent you up before you get out of here, my guy. He just came through and dipped out. He was like, hey, what's happening? And he dipped, you know what I'm saying? But hey, uh, so Tuesday nights, tomorrow, I'll be over there on the People Let's Talk. Uh, make sure y'all check me out over there. Come give me a shout out. Um, all, Wednesday night is uh, 
Easy Work Wednesday, so you know that's open panel for us. We're going to be talking about, uh, you know, things going on, whatever y'all want to talk about again. Uh, you guys are part of the channel, too. Um, if you got any suggestions, anything y'all want to talk about, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, follow me at R underscore dubs on Instagram and R dubs one on Twitter. Just shoot me. Hey, Rick, I want to see this. But we already got the fighting ratings. We already got the fighter ratings uh, set up for this Thursday. And guess who we doing for fighting ratings? Guess who we going to do for fighter ratings? We going to do your Dennis 54. Ugas for fighter ratings. You know, just look at him now. You know that he, you know, and EJ didn't fall. We just gonna look at it and you know see how 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 is it how it is right now, right? I think it's appropriate. What y'all think? Y'all think Ugas is good for fighter ratings this Thursday? I wish I had a Jeopardy. I need to get a Jeopardy drop. <laughs> Shakur, Johnny said, "Okay, Ugas." Hey, Johnny Q, hit me up on Twitter, bro. Hit me up on Instagram. Yep. So that's what we going to do. We going to do uh, <laughs> we going to do Ugas this week. So if y'all want to be on the panel, we can do up to 10 on the panel, man. Scale to 1 to 10. Make sure y'all watch some tape, man. Make sure y'all watch some tape even though it's kind of fresh in your mind the ass whooping he got, bro. He's still a great fighter, man. He's still a good fighter. He a good little fighter, bro. <laughs> oh my bad RS Cooper I didn't mean to do that He a good little fighter bro What happened Oh My bad bro That's my bad Bring him back bro I am your worst My bad RS I just timed you out I was trying to give you a, a wrench There you go bro I'm sorry about that bro But you, you'll be wrenched up next time you come back I apologize I clicked the wrong thing but yeah, man. Facts, facts, facts. Yep, just hit me up because I'll forget Johnny Q, but for real, we can do him. We can do uh, Shakur next week if you want, bro, for real. Because you got yours in first, so we could definitely do Shakur next week. But hey, y'all, that's my time, man. Thank y'all so much to everybody that came through tonight. <laughs> Let y'all know I appreciate y'all. And as usual, yeah, drink two weeks, bro. Uh, so as usual, man, y'all know what it is, man. Take care of yourself first. Without you, nothing else happens. That's why it's called a universe. This universe would not exist if you weren't here. Once you do that, make sure you take care of your family because who's going to feed you your jello when you get older? And baby, I like jello. Hey. <laughs> and I guarantee y'all, man, y'all do that, bro. Everything else pretty much take care of itself. Y'all know who it is. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ricky. It's your boy Ricky. And we gone. Later.
as you wish. My notification. King Jr., Tech RD, Pat Greedy, my brother, Poe Porter, Jay, Mr. Blue, Trey, Troy Allen, what's going on? Euphorbio Day, my brother. Jabari Bath, Phil J508, Stephen L. Lamatt, Shamar Rashawn Shalom, President Mike, Jay, Malik, Saint, Saint Louis Mick, Cornelius Jenkins, Big Cap, no uh, big facts, no cap. Young King Company, Julius Thomas, Crunch Time Sports, Jelani Everett, Daniel Darrell 76, salute. They still not sending out my notifications, huh? <clears throat> Lamont Blake, Fabian Terry, what's going on? Amazing. You master a lot, what's going on? So, uh, uh, we got uh, the truth. Earl Spence Jr., he's letting it be known that he's going to dial in uh, Ansar. What's going on? Salute to you. A Villa. Kai, what's going on? Young World. Patrick Bell, what's going on? Uh, uh, so, Earl Spence Jr., Boss at 357. What's going on, great brother? He let it be known that he wants Errol, uh, um, Ivan Flores. What's going on? He wants uh, um, Devin Haney to win this fight. Said, I'm pulling for Devin Haney in this fight. Uh, he stated that uh, um, Chaos Havoc. What's going on? Bullet Gibson. What's going on? Cornelius Bing. What's going on? CT, CT Fat Boy Big Chi. What's going on? So he said, you know. He's going to support Devin Haney, and he's headed to Australia. Jay, the real, real, realtor, what's going on? He's going to head to Australia to support Devin Haney. He wants Devin Haney to be successful. Barbara Davis, peace and blessings, Queen. How you doing today? She said, hey, hey, little brother, I've officially adopted you in the Blue Blood Nation. Now how do I get my wrench? Barbara, you still don't have a wrench? Huh? Wow, I can't even see Barbara in the chat. Truly Trey, what's going on? Free Smoke, what's going on? My brother, CB Sports TV, Carl Burrell in the building. The Yen Master 24, Chris Rob Media TV, Jay Stevens, what's going on? Barbara, type something in the chat. These are the games that they be playing. I gave Barbara a wrench oh, a long time ago. Jay Stevens, what's going on? Steven Taylor, what's going on? Boston True Serum, John Clark, Stephen Ella Mack, Man Down, what's going on? <clears throat> now check it, Barbara. I gave her a wrench a long time ago. Natty Dread, what's going on? I, I found you now. C Black, what's going on? Yeah, there you go, Barbara. If you've been here, Copper Color King, my brother, what's going on? Let me wrench you up, too. Salute to my brother, Copper Color King. Let me wrench you up. <clears throat> Kick Science Socially, what's going on? Mark West, what's going on? These are the games that they play, people. Macadocious Mac of the South, what's going on, great brother? They'll take your wrench and, and things of that nature, man. I gave Barbara a wrench a long time ago. She still don't have a wrench. Mike, Mike 47, what's going on? So if I can't see with multiple devices, I don't know if you have a, a wrench or not. Eno Boss, what's going on? A B, what's going on? 
I got to see y'all here a little bit longer, man. Let me see y'all here a little bit longer because I give people wrenches and all of a sudden they start deleting everybody and playing all types of games, man. And I don't got time for that. <clears throat> Monroe, what's going on? Carinello, what's going on? I don't got time for that, man. Smash that like button, people. Get the lights up. We got 288 people. We should have 288 lights. We got 106 lights. 288 people going on 300 people, and we got 106 likes. Smash the like button. Cedric Taylor, what's going on, great brother? <clears throat> Aaron Edwards, what's going on? Presidential Mike. Mitch Joette, peace and blessings, queen. How you doing today? Gilbert Rodriguez Jr., my brother, what's going on, young king? Brother Adam, what's going on? Anthony Fitzgerald, what's going on? Self-made mafia family, what's going on? Yeah, they're not sending out my notifications. And look, they're playing games with my with my stream. As it's going up, suddenly they're blocking it and it's growing so slow. It's at turtle pace. Denzel Horton, what's going on? Am I not watching it? I see it. Wow, Kansas got past them, huh? Kansas is up. They up four points. They was down 15. Now they up four. Jay Lynn, peace of blessings, queen. Miss Aisha, peace of blessings, queen. See me grow. What's going on? Tanisha Rodriguez, peace of blessings to you, queen. Music showing by Music TV, my brother. What's going on? <clears throat> so, let me get uh uh uh, <clears throat> uh let me get into this. No, Miss Joette, I I don't even I I can't even see where you sent it on uh, uh Instagram. What was Tyson Fury doing in the video? Send me the video again. Send it to me right now, Miss Joette. Nelson Armstrong, what's going on? Miss Joe, send it, send it right now. DOG215, what's going on? Kizzy Hayes, what's going on? Blue, what's your prediction for a fight this weekend? Uh, Erickson Lubin by seventh round knockout. Uh, Gennady Golovkin might surprisingly lose on the rise. Sylvester Simon, 2011. What's going on? Uh, uh, Kizzy Hayes, A1 Hoop Zone. My brother Emmanuel H in the building. Go subscribe to my brother Emmanuel H, A1 Hoop Zone. Peace be free, what's going on? Eric, oh, what's going on? Robert Singleton, what's going on? Curtis Price, what's going on? And I need y'all to go to ppv.blkprime.com. Support my movement. Blue just got back from Puerto Rico. I was looking for Tito. I, I know you was. Twiz West Philly, my brother. What's good, my brother? Twiz West Philly. Sylvester Silence, what's going on? Uh, Queen, did you see what he said, though, about Errol Spitz? I knew that wasn't going to sit right with you. I knew that wasn't going to sit right with you, Queen. Hey, Ace Carter, what's going on, great brother? Did you see Errol's going to Australia? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jay Laws, lost him, brother in the Super Chat, dropping that half a dip on your boy Blue in the Super Chat. He said, Prime James Tony versus Canelo. Who you got? James Tony, hands down. It's not even a question. Pat Cannon, my brother, what's goody with you? Maya Egypt, peace and blessings, Queen. How you feeling today? Jose Verge, what's going on? Robert Singleton, what's going on? Uh, James Tony by far. That's not even a close fight to me. It's not even a competitive fight. Canelo Alvarez will be missing. James Tony will be countering him. James Tony is strong. He got a lot of power. A lot of James Tony make you miss in the phone booth. William Old School, are dead, my brother. How you feeling, brother? Uh, he make you miss in the phone booth. Canelo not athletic enough. Uh, Mashamal Ayash, what's going on? He's not athletic enough and mobile enough to beat James Tony. James Tony got a lot of power. In both hands, high ring IQ. He a dog, man. He 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 might stop Canelo. Jose Verge said Tito would have starched Spence. Man, see this is what I'm talking about. It'd be too many people uh, uh, dealing in hindsight. You understand what I'm saying? Too many people. Yeah. Uh, 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 General T. Now what's going on? Tito Trinidad is a very good fighter, a great fighter. Glue Man Live. What's going on? Uh, Errol Spence. His his chapter. His career has not been finished. Written. Uh, Tito Trinidad. Uh, uh, people forget how he was. He used to get dropped. He was. He seemed to be chinny. Uh, 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 he didn't have the best defense in the world. He struggled with athletic boxes. You know. Yeah. Hindsight. Now you look at Tito's career. He's retired. It's already written. He's a Hall of Famer, and, and it's easy to say, "Oh, he is stretch Earl," because you don't see Earl's story is not finished written.
Twiz West Philly, he said that make you miss in a phone booth. Just visualize that. Yeah, yeah. James Tony make you miss in a phone booth. T Bonafide, Paul Porter, what's going on? Rojai, what's going on? Tito Trinidad was very basic. Uh, uh, great fighter, what he did. He struggled with athletic fighters. He struggled with technically uh, skilled boxers. He struggled with uh, uh, when you when you had a ring IQ. Tito Trinidad was a great fighter. Don't get me wrong, but let's not act like Tito Trinidad was unbeatable. He got a boxing clinic. Um, Oscar De La Hoya was putting on a boxing clinic against Trinidad. He just put took his foot off the gas in the second half. Woke the truth. What's going on? Gip nine one. My brother in the super chat. He said, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, I ain't dissing nobody, but let's bring it to the light. Gip was the first with my mouth bright white. Yes, sir. Can't focus because the eyes so blurry. Yes, sir. Salute to my brother. Ha he said, hashtag salute. Blue, salute to you, great brother. Hey, you knew I was going with that, Gip. Hey, Gip, you know I was getting ready to go in there, right? As soon as I saw your name. I was getting ready to go in there, and then I read the. Uh, I started reading the chat, and I said, "You did it for me." I ain't dissing nobody, but let's bring it to the light. Gip was the worst. Was the first with my mouth bright white. Woo! Can't focus because the eyesight blurry. Woo! I love that. Hey, hey, Gip nine one. Alvin Jose Basil, what's going on? Tanzel Waikik, what's going on? When I'm in my bike. And I'll be having that full blast. Ooh, and I'll be going through the city. Man, people be stopping at the corner. They be copper colored king, brother in the super chat. He said, Blue, please don't join the no uh, the pr propaganda shaking my head. The new uh, 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 uh. What you doing now? Oh. He said, Blue, please don't join. The uh, uh, NOI propaganda shaking my head. What you mean? Oh, you can turn it off. I just asked me. Sorry about that. Box fan, full time. My brother in the super chat dropping that half a dip on your boy Blue in the super chat. He said, if Crawford does indeed move up to 154 for his next fight, do you think he should? Uh, uh, test the waters out with the winner of Lubin Fandora and then face Charlo Castano winner if no Spence fight? Yes. And that's, I wouldn't even test uh, Lubin. Louis DelVell, what's going on? Donnell Schaefer, Kevin Munnins, what's going on? Uh, I wouldn't even play with Lubin. Uh, Jarvis Emery, Real McCoy, my brother. Simba Zindoga, what's going on? Uh, Lubin, I wouldn't play, I wouldn't test those waters with Lubin either. I would go, if I'm Terrence Crawford, I'm going to go up to 154. Uh, um, and test the waters and just see how my boxing gets used to. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, uh. No, I don't, I don't get into that, you know, boxing. Jarvis Emery, what's going on? I mean, everybody has their own opinion or whatever. Original Skywalker, Sean Lighthouse, what's going on? Justin Hawkins, what's going on? Tone Capone, one, James Whitaker, what's going on? Uh, but if I'm Terrence Crawford, I go up to 154, you know, um, J Rock would be the person. The music. Yeah, but I didn't, I, I didn't like how it looked, so I'll just use it. I'll clean the other one. Um, I don't, um, I would J-Rock, James Whitaker, what's going on? Marlon Cosby, what's going on? J-Rock would take the fight. I'm going with J-Rock. Hey, uh, let me get a fight with J-Rock. I'll go up there. J-Rock is not the biggest super middleweight, but he is a uh, junior middleweight. Uh, he does have power. Uh, he's skilled. He's talented. So now you're dealing with a big, skilled uh, um, junior middleweight and, and, and getting your body acclimated to the division. Rich Mack, Rick, Rick Mack, what's going on? So that's the route I would go. Malik, brother in Super Chat, Boston is coming back strong in the coming months. Hey, bro, it's already back, starting this Saturday. We got Triple G. Uh, 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 oh, let me answer the brother question. Uh, uh, um. Triple G, I believe Triple G is going to lose. You heard it here first. Uh, uh, um, um, you got uh, uh, Ryan Garcia making his ring return. Uh, he's going to win. He's going to knock out uh, Emmanuel Tago probably in the late rounds, 10th round, 9th, 10th round, something like that. And then I have um, then I have uh, uh, um, Jay Ketchup. What's going on? I got Erickson Lubin knocking out Fandora in the 7th round of that fight. 
Uh, and I forgot the undercards. I don't remember all the undercards. Real McCoy, my brother in Super Chat, dropping that. Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, once again, Blue, I got to tell you that it is a fast go-kart, my good brother. Uh, that is a fast go-kart, my good brother. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Every summer, here go my brother, Real McCoy. Here he go. Respect my loop. What's going on? Every summer, here go my brother, Real McCoy. That ain't no bike. Gabriel Perret, Perot, what's going on? Goody O, what's going on? C Black, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm planning to, C Black. I'm planning to. Here go my brother, Real McCoy. Here he come every summer. Hey, bro. Every time I post, yo, that's nice, but it ain't no bike. That's nice. It ain't no bike. It's just a go-kart, a fast go-kart. Trade Dub 234, Fade Away. Jeremy 2684, what's going on? It's nice, but it's just a fast go-kart. Here he come. Here he come. Every, every soon as it get warm. Soon as it get warm, here go my brother Real McCoy. Hey, that's nice, man. But uh it ain't no bike, it's a fast go-kart. Eric Black 60, what's going on? That's just a fast go-kart. Your boy, what's going on? What's referring to Fred and the topics with Barbershop? I mean, that's my brother right there. Uh 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 he got his own train of thought, his own. You know, uh, respect my loop. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's my brother right there. Main boxing biker. My brother, what's going on with you, great brother? I mean, he 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 believed what he believed. And, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, he has his own uh, uh, um, mindset. You know what I mean? That's what he believes. He believes in, in, that's his truth. Uh, that's his research. L. Rivy, what's going on? Michael Davis, X Krypton, what's going on? Hey, yo, Tay, uh, 662, what's going on? $12, what's going on? You understand what I'm saying? Sherman Callahan, what's going on? So, you know what I mean? I, I, hey, listen, that's 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 for him. Dig what I'm saying? Adrian Vett, what's going on? Me personally, I've never done my research with it. You know, I never looked into it, so I don't know. You know what I mean? But he's done extensive research. And that's his that's his beliefs. You know what I mean? So I don't knock nobody for what they believe, what they what they feel. I don't I don't get into that, man. You know what I mean? Because uh, everybody, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing perfect. You get what I'm saying? So let's get into this. So Arrow the True Spence Jr. is going to Australia. Dub underscore right side. My brother, what's good with you? He's headed to Australia to support. He's headed to Australia and he's going to support uh, Devin the Dream Haney. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, uh, Devin Haney, right, is, you know, uh, uh, um, American fighter, clearly. Uh, Devin Haney's fighting in June in Australia. And, uh, you know, uh, he's going to support him. <clears throat> Heavy duty, what's going on? So, uh, Tay Tay Brown, peace and blessings, Queen. How you doing tonight? Salute to the 11520. <clears throat> Kareem Ebanks, what's going on? Jay Ketchup, my brother in the super chat. P. Ali, what's going on? He said, Blue, what fights are you going to and what are your upcoming fight predictions? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, great brother, but I'll keep you posted on that. <laughs> keep you, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, uh, but Devin Haney, this is what we ask of our fighters, right? Errol Spence said, listen, I'm showing up to Australia 
I'm going to support Devin Haney. I'm pulling for Devin Haney. I want to see him win this fight. This is what we ask for from our fighters. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of acting like you two above supporting each other. You understand what I'm saying? Too many times we get fighters not want to support their peers and not want to support each other, act like they're above or better than each other. Support one another. Leo GT Multimedia Artist, my brother, what's good with you? Go subscribe to my brother, Leo GT Multimedia Artist. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Go support one another. Go, go stand with one another. In unity. In unity, why not? You understand what I'm saying? Why not? Tony Crickos, what's going on? Yes, I am Tony Crickos. If everything goes well, all goes well. That's the plan. So why not stand in unity with one another? Lock arms, hold. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it I love it. Teach, what's going on? You understand what I'm saying? So Arrow, like, listen, I'm going to man. That's that's a day travel. Arrow told me he going to Australia to support Devin Haney. That's a whole day's travel, man. Christopher Bowen, what's going on? Live for life film. That what's going on? That's not a that's not around the corner. That ain't across this country. That ain't the Is this gonna kill? He can close this out. Let's What is up, YouTube? What we got here is two awesome sets for you all. We have one featuring the Jax Jackie Breaks combination duo couple, duo deluxe supreme, and the other set features Supercell. The guy goes crazy with Cyber Sub Zero and Predator. I mean, some of you would say Predator is easily top five in this game, Mortal Kombat X. I hope you all have been enjoying this hype Mortal Kombat action. I hope the next Netherrealm title is as fun as this game right here last thing i want is for netherrealm to release a title they get stale super quick i'm not saying mortal Kombat 11 gets stale or anything but you know i'm just saying i i hope they give us a game that's just as fun as mortal Kombat x now when i say that i mean in terms of you know combo creativity i truly believe the perfect game would be you know if they get the next mk looking as good as mortal Kombat 11 but just make it more free flowing, make it more flexible, change up the mechanics a bit. You know, don't be so scrub friendly. I mean, time will tell with what goes down with the next NRS title. Ed Boon and the crew are really keeping things under the wraps. I mean, on Twitter, they are saying that, you know, a new game is in the works. So it's definitely coming. You know, that that's why people shouldn't be so antsy and, and, and so caught up in this whole situation because a new game is coming without a doubt. But anyways, let's get into this hype action. I hope you guys enjoy it. You can do me a big favor, slap a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll catch y'all next time. Let's get into this hype set. All right, here we go. Mortal Kombat X in the flesh. There it is, the wake up. Nonchalanto gonna get a shotgun blast right to the back of his dome. He's gonna go staggering a forward one, two into the teleport. Nonchalanto with the displacer raid and taking round number one. And he's gonna go, Well, she had a lot of night! What prompts a man to wanna play Jackie Briggs? Look, at least this shit ain't Jackie Briggs from MK11. You know what I'm saying? At least this isn't Jackie Briggs from MK11. We got Jackie Briggs, MKX. This is definitely the more superior version of Jackie Briggs in terms of skill and in terms of height. As long as she's not leaping all over the screen, I think we, we, can, we can manage this. Look at this right now. Nonchalanto hitting him with the back one, teleporting all over the place. This is the Displacer Raiden times 100. Oh my God. Dude, the pressure was insane. Deathstroke did not know when was his right opportunity to attack. And just like that, a teleport out of nowhere gonna slam him to the right, left side of the screen. And he's gonna give him the block bags. The block bags? Raiden wins. Pay your respects. Run, defend. Jackie Briggs. Raiden. Wow, 
right. Listen, I want everybody right now in the chat to say thank you to Mary Luna because she's setting up the prediction. She's setting up the prediction. And she said if she sees in the chat, if she sees one more person saying to do the predictions, she says she's going to start spraying everybody in the face like a skunk. Come here. Come here. Put that away, man. Don't do it. Come here. No, the chat. Don't do it. 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 Don't do
He's gonna catch him with the electric fly. Puts the electricity on the screen. But the wake up with the armor. The gunshot to the back of the head. Full out of Jackie. What a ballsy move. From nonchalanto. Goes with a raw Superman. To put her right back in the corner. Wait, I just realized Nonchalanto did make the character switch to Thunder God Raiden. This isn't the displacer variation anymore. Look at this pressure. Oh my god, catches him slipping. This is a back 1-1. One, one. Thank you so much for the bits, La Ramen Warden. That's going to do it, Nonchalanto. One round away from going up three games to one. Oh, the down four to avoid the gunshots. What a masterful read. Hold on, we got stanky legs. We got spanky doodle legs coming in hot. Spanky doodleskis. Ooh, the low's gonna connect. Into the launcher. Look at this damage. It wasn't the greatest, but it's, you know, damage is damage at the end of the day. And that's what makes a, a, a fighting game player great is when they can convert into anything and just get that damage on the table. He is mixing right now. Chip damage for days. Oh, blows up the armor. This man is going crazy with the Thunder God Raiden right now. What is this? You, you don't impress me. Oh my God. All he had to do was block and he could have gotten a punish to make something happen there. But nonchalanto right now. Going up three games to one. That stroke. That stroke. He's got, a, he's got a lot of leche Dangerous. packed in there. I don't know what he's going to do with all that leche packed in there. But if he doesn't do anything soon, <laughs> he's going to be leaking. He's going to be leaking for the next for the next two years. Mary, get the umbrella. He's leaking. Get the umbrella. He's leaking. Get the fucking umbrella. He's leaking. Wait, 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 wait. My controller disconnected. It couldn't handle the hype. My controller disconnected. It couldn't handle the hype. Could you imagine, chat? Thank you so much for the follows. Flaming Envoy and Zurax. It is me, Zurax. I am part of the fleet. I am part of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh my god. This guy is having a party right now. Look at this combo. How much are we talking? 36% into the reset. Deathstroke has been in this corner for about two years now. He hasn't had an opportunity to do anything. That was a flawless victory. Coming from Nonchalanto here. He's gonna raise his hand to the sky. He goes, Fight! Ooh, good down one. His spacing right now is looking uh, is looking pretty immaculate. He's gonna meet him in the, the rockets. To try to trick him here. One thing that Deathstroke needs to be careful with is the Supermans. The Supermans from Nonchalanto. Oh, good block. That's a... What are you... Papa! What are you doing? That thing was like minus 60. And he didn't get the punish on it. There it is. The chip out. The chip out. Coming in hot. Nonchalanto right now, though. Up three games to one. He just needs another round here to go up four games to one. And being down four games to one in a first of five set, it's not a good feeling, I'll tell you that. It's scary. You start to feel the walls just closing in on you. And you start to feel the poop nearing closer to your butt. Jesus, bro. He drops a combo, giving Deathstroke a chance at salvation here. Tries to run in, but the down one check from Nonchalanto is going to put him in place. The instant Superman in the air into the block mix-up. Unbelievable. Nonchalanto's hitting this guy with the sauce. Or like Top 7 says, Con el crema. Estás poniendo la crema de la crema. So many contact Top 7 right now. Tell them that we got la crema de la crema. La crema de la crema de la, de la crema. Oh, what a conversion! He did down four into the... Oh my god, that was disgusting! Flipping her like a pancake into the down two... The, the back two finish. Nonchalanto! That down four into the pickup was absolute insanity. I cannot believe we witnessed that. Jesus! Holy 
Deathstroke is gonna make the character switch to Jax. Is this the right move? I like how he got the 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 father and daughter combination here. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, here goes the body slam. We got wrestler Jax. Toma, toma, toma. Knocks him to the ground. That was a flawless victory. Answering back for the flawless that Nonchalanto gave him earlier. You love to see it. Runs up in his face with the overhead ground pound. Don't drop the combos. He dropped the combo. Oh my god, my headache. My headache is growing stronger. You go stronger. That's gonna be a corner switch. No, but the breakaway or the breaker. I don't know if I quite agree with that. Oh my God, this is looking like the Matrix reloaded right now. Tries to go for the super punch, but it's not at the range. Oh, what a jump over. Nonchalanto does have breaker. He's gonna use it. Oh, he's catching him, slipping with these projectiles. Toma, Toma, he's got corner control. And uh, Jump 2 is gonna connect. Goes with another break on the block. Finish it! Whoa! No! Whoa! Holy shit. Come on, they're getting a little too hyper for me right now. Yo, the star just got in here. What did I miss? Yo, you missed a lot, bro. We got Jax right now smoking a fat blunt. I just hope he doesn't get a headache like me. Unbelievable. You'll love to see it, though. Deathstroke staying alive. He's going to get two games on the board here, but nonchalant. So, he, I don't know, man. He's got a real juicy lead. Deathstroke is gonna have to, he's gonna have to really ascend into Elder God status here if he wants to make this comeback. But the jump kick is gonna be a beautiful start. Tries to run up with the pressure. But the wake up button, Dev, uh, Deathstroke right now is dealing with a true Mortal Kombat 11 player here, Nonchalanto, the Lux Jr. Supreme Edition. Oh, he's dropping combos like crazy. He's gotta be careful. There's a lot of damage he's missing out. I mean, he was able to pick it up again. But he just needs to be careful. Good blocks. Gets opened up. Pressure was too strong. Nonchalanto right now. What a read. Knocks him out of the air. Catches the block. And that's going to do it. Toma, toma, toma. Puts him on the ground. Holy shit. Is this MK Grills Jr.? Junior Deluxe? We are. This is the Deluxe version. Exotic. Good down one. Puts him in check. Tries to go with the overhead again, but not gonna happen. Beautiful blocks coming from Nonchalanto. Same can be said about Deathstroke, but man, the pressure. Nonchalanto just continuing to just smack him up. Oh, he's gonna get opened up. I think that was jailing pressure. Drops the combo. He's gonna give Deathstroke a chance. Tries to go for the overhead punch again. He's gotta be very careful with that. I think he's trying to just bet all the chips on, on that overhead punch. And that thing is going to be punishable every single time it's blocked. So he needs to be extra careful with it. Mr. Birdfly, thank you for the resub. Here we go. Drops the combo. The overhead's going to connect. He can do this. Oh, my God. That was unfortunate. Okay, plus frames. Tries to go with the jump in, but the down three anti-air. What the? That is something you usually don't quite see too often. Okay, plus frames. The overhead's gonna connect. 
Drops the combo again, though. Unfortunately, Deathstroke is literally dropping the ball here. He is dropping the ball here big time. Beautiful conversion. Oh, my God. That's going to have to be a breaker and a half. Plus frames coming in hot. More plus frames. Okay. He's going to back up. Catches him in the back dash. He needs one more touch here, and this can possibly be it. Overhead. Oh! Oh my god, what a what a read! I don't know how this guy's staying alive here, but he's staying alive here. Deathstroke right now goes up three games to four. Nonchalanto is gonna have to clutch it up because I'll tell you what, if Deathstroke gets one more on the board, he can potentially do this. He can bet he could potentially run this back. And I'll tell you, man. Jackie Briggs, she's been yes. talking to Jack for a long time now. She's been telling Jack, Daddy, when are you going to get your nipples pierced? And time and time again, Jack tells her, he says, Listen, little girl, I don't want to get my nipples pierced, all right? Jackie, leave him alone, Jackie. Jackie Briggs, leave him alone, all right? He doesn't want to get the nipples pierced. Stop, stop, stop pressuring him, please, Jackie. Jesus. On your Jackie Briggs, he, he said, Hold it. He said, hold him, I can't hold it. Botona, I can't hold it. Okay, this is getting very scary here. He's going to go with the EX Superfly. Drags him to the right side of the screen. He's got corner control. Going to catch him out of that little jump out. The projectile right in front of his face. Tries to go for it again, but the down one. Nonchalanto is learning the patterns of this Jax. Oh my god, match point for Nonchalanto here. We got a match point. Okay. The stand switch. Trying to play very patient. Yo, that was a crazy reactionary teleport from Nonchalanto. Tries to go for the down two, the back dash. Not gonna work in his favor. He's just blocking right now. Yo, that mid is actually kind of nutty. Oh, it actually opens him up. Don't drop the combo. Don't drop the combo. There it is. Deathstroke needs one more round here. Chat, will he be able to do this? Will he be able to salvage the set? Wow. Do you think he's nervous? Oh, my God. The Bane backbreaker. He said, I was born in the darkness. Bold in my Oh no, tries to go for the overhead. That is going to be his demise. But Nonchalanto drops the combo. The breaker, Deathstroke, still has a bar of meter. So if he does open him up, he can get some big boy damage on the table. The down one. Oh, the wake up. Sure, you can. He's holding his, his ground. The jump in. It works. Oh. I can't watch. I can't watch! He's still alive, chat! Oh! He's still alive! And that is gonna do it. The down one nonchalanto closing the set out, taking it five games to three in one of the most butt-clenching moments we've ever seen. G G's. I'm gonna chug one anyway. That was way too close. Like that was close to the point where. <laughs> any 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 second left and doodle would have squared it out of my butt wait what who said you that? gotta come in with the utmost confidence of a thousand gods of a thousand sun gods and you could potentially do this i believe in you brother just take the cocky out from your butt and start swinging he is going with the grandmaster sub-zero I mean, I feel like as long as Ender Star does what he's got to do with Grandmaster Sub Zero, there's. I mean, it's smooth sailing from there. Oh! Was that a neutral duck? Didn't get the punish he was looking for. I don't know what was that. He tried to go for the ice boat. I think he was supposed to meter burn it. I'm, now, I'm not quite sure if he had the meter available to him when he went for that. But we, we would have to look back at the set. Man, right now, Supercell taking full advantage of this situation. Putting him in the corner. 
Wait a second. And their star. He can make this happen. Tries to go for a down two. Ooh, punish. Supercell's gonna break her. Supercell's gonna break her. She knew it. Oh my god. The overhead's gonna connect. Double overhead into the death. Unbelievable. And their star staying alive. Holy Ender Star staying alive. Oh no! Doesn't get the combo conversion he was looking for. The ice broke out a little too late. He's gonna toss the ice ball right in front of his face. Tries to go for, the, for an ice ball, but the ice ball from Cypher Sub closes him out. Palita Sucia. Good anti here. It's the bomb on the ground. Yo, these guys keep getting frozen. This is sick. They keep getting frozen in space and time. They try to whiff punish him. He's looking for a little shimmy shimmy, but unfortunately, su super sell. This guy is too seasoned for stuff like that. He's like a, like a steak with some sazon smeared on top of it. Oh my god, the jump in right into the dive kick. Unbelievable. Final round, fight. Good punish. Ice Ball actually gets avoided. Oh my god, this guy is actually ridiculous right now. This guy, Ender Star, said he was gonna get bodied, but he's dishing out the pain. Get that combo. Toma, toma. What is it? The hard knockdown? The hard knockdown. Tries to go for the overhead. He's got him in the corner. He backs up, throws the interactable, and now down two. Oh my god, what a read. That was crazy. That down two he threw. I don't know if that was a read or what, but he knocked him on the dive kick, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How is that even possible? Wowzers. Wowzing tins. Wowzing tins. Ursulina. Wowzing tins. Immediately, Supercell is going to switch over to the Predator. I'm going to say this. this. is all I'm going to say. Yup. The only thing that's going to be very dangerous for uh, Ender Star is that down four. But if Ender Star can kind of play around the down four and make the jump in reads when he has to to just try to avoid it entirely, I think Ender Star can have a pretty good shot at taking this. Oh, he tried to make the jump read right there, but he gets hit by the disc. I think Predator is not the greatest matchup, you know, when it comes to Sub-Zero, just because he can check him so many times with that down four. But man, this might be a done deal. Wait, he's still alive. The down four into the low laser, closing it out. I think this is, I think the matchup, the, the matchup, I think the matchup is favorable for Predator. But I mean, other people can, can you know, other people say otherwise. I think Predator wins this, though, just because he has a down four check. Every time he goes for Ice Clone, he can down four, get some hit advantage, and start the pressure. Like that right there. Just as you saw right there. Oh my god, Ice Shatter didn't do anything for him. Tries to get a standing four conversion, but the pickup is not going to happen. Tries to go for a down two. Very unfortunate. This might be a GG. Doesn't have the meter to break away, but the combo drop. The commentator's curse coming in clutch. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff right there. Predator wins.
Yeah, this predator is dangerous, man. This predator is dangerous. the interactable right off the rip good cancel confirms into the low this is gonna be juicy pressure right here into the hard knockdown with the disc setup what's it gonna be oh goes for the standing three into the low laser but the incredible block from ender star but it's not gonna be enough to stop the predator the predator the predator